Hello and welcome to PsychEd, where we explore fascinating psychology experiments and sometimes the statistics that go behind them. Today we're going to be talking about the Marshmallow Experiment, which is a classic study on self-control and delayed gratification, and this study has had a lasting impact on our understanding of human behavior. So the Marshmallow Experiment was conducted in the late 1960s and early 1970s by a psychologist named Walter Michel. The study involved children between the ages of 4 and 6 who were given a marshmallow and told that they could eat it immediately or wait 15 minutes and receive a second marshmallow as a reward. The researchers then left the room, leaving the child alone with the marshmallow. They monitored the child's behavior through a one-way mirror and noted whether the child ate the marshmallow right away or waited the full 15 minutes to receive their delayed reward of a second marshmallow. So the marshmallow experiment was designed to test the hypothesis that a child's ability to delay gratification is linked to their future success in life. The researchers believe that children who are able to wait for the second marshmallow would demonstrate greater self-control and better decision-making skills in the future which would lead to better outcomes in areas such as academic achievement, social relationships, and health. The study results were quite striking. Only about 30% of the children were able to resist the temptation to eat the marshmallow and wait for the second one. The others gave in to temptation and ate the marshmallow before the 15 minutes were up. The children who were able to delay gratification were found to have better life outcomes in a follow-up study conducted years later. These outcomes included higher SAT scores, lower rates of substance abuse, and better social skills. However, the marshmallow experiment has also been criticized for its limitations, including its small sample size and lack of diversity. Some researchers have also questioned the generalizability of the study's findings to different cultures and to different contexts. Despite these limitations, the marshmallow Marshmallow experiment remains a powerful demonstration of the importance of self-control and delayed gratification in achieving success in life. It has inspired numerous follow-up studies and has been influential in fields such as education, child development, as well as behavioral economics. Another hypothesis of the study was that the ability to delay gratification was a learned behavior rather than an innate trait. The researchers believed that children could be taught strategies for self-control, such as distraction techniques, and that these strategies would help them resist the temptation to eat the marshmallow and wait for a second one. In some versions of the marshmallow experiment, the researchers did teach children the strategies for self-control. For instance, in one variation of the experiment, the researchers gave the children a toy to play with while they waited for the second marshmallow. The idea was that the children would be distracted by the toy and would be better able to resist the temptation to eat the marshmallow. Other strategies that have been used in the marshmallow experiment and similar studies include giving children incentives for waiting, such as stickers or other small rewards, or teaching them mindfulness or relaxation techniques to help them stay focused and calm while waiting. The results of these variations of the experiment have been mixed. Some studies have found that teaching children self-control strategies can help improve their ability to delay gratification, while others have found no significant effect. However, the general consensus among researchers is that self-control and delayed gratification are complex psychological processes that are influenced by a wide range of factors, including cognitive ability, personality traits, as well as environmental factors. So as always, the answer to any question in psychology is that it is both nature and nurture that play a role. So the question is, would you eat the marshmallow or wait 15 minutes? Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you all next time.